Hi, my name is Kate. Thank you for your interest, and I wish you good vision. To configure the communication channels, select the project and, in the configuration section, find the channels module. WinLogivo provides up to 15 independent logic channels, to communicate with external devices such as controllers, PLCs, drives, etc. Each logical channel is associated with a physical channel, for example, a serial COM port, the Ethernet network, specific USB adapters. Each logical channel is also associated with a communication protocol, or driver, such as Modbus, Profinet, Backnet, Connex, etc. To configure a channel, select its number, and associate a communication protocol to it, using the selection box. The Options button opens a window, for changing the settings of the chosen protocol. Each protocol driver has different properties, and there is always a button, in the configuration window, to consult the online help. The devices are all PLCs, controllers, drives, connected to WinLog, through its logic channels. This window allows you to create the list of devices, from which to read, or write the values of the gates, or tags. Devices are identified by the number of the channel they are connected to, and by an address. A description can be assigned to each device, to facilitate recognition. Once the logical communication channels, associated with their respective physical channels, and associated devices have been created, the communication network is defined. When we create at least one sampled variable for each device, it will be possible to diagnose the communication for each channel and each device. For convenience, we define our tutorial as the default project, that is, automatically associated with runtime execution. For the creation of variables, or tags, we refer you to the next tutorial. For now, let's assume you've created, at least one variable for each device. We make application menus visible temporarily. We execute our project. From the supervision menu, under status, we will find the device network diagnostics. It will be possible to check its status, any communication errors and temporarily disable the sampling of a device. Device diagnostics can also be integrated as an object in a template or synoptic. For the creation of the templates, we refer you to a future tutorial.
Device diagnostics, integrated into a template, will look like this. Thanks for your attention. For more information, I invite you to browse our site or send us an email. See you at the next tutorial. Have a nice day.